Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of a very cool device from Genki called the Shadow Cast. This device lets you play any console to a laptop. That way, for example, if you're traveling with a PlayStation 5 or Xbox One or Xbox Series S or your Nintendo Switch with your dock and you want to connect it to a bigger screen and you have a laptop with a 15, 16, 17 inch, whatever, um, this device will actually let you connect any console to the laptop with almost no lag whatsoever. And it's possible thanks to this device right here. Uh, like see here, this says play games, consoles on your laptop compatible with Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and more. Shadow cast, console adapter link. There you go. Over here you have like instructions, like very, very simple instructions. This is very simple. Uh, you got some specification there. If you want to pause the video there, there you go. Sweet. And of course, works with TV, gaming console, record and stream. You, you can also do that and unlock new possibilities with cameras. Uh, let's gonna take this out, of course. Uh, check this out. Of course, it's from Genki. I believe they also do like a, a portable docks as well for the Nintendo Switch. And here it is, this little device right here. <laughs> this little device. Um, in the inside, you're gonna have, let's go put this here. You're gonna have this cable, which of course is very crucial because this is USB-C to USB-C. It's six foot long, I believe, and it's very well made quality. You have a couple stickers here. You got one sticker from Genki, and you got another sticker here, which looks like Samus from Metroid. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. And um, that's it. You have the instructions here, which, believe me, guys, it's very, very simple instructions. So let's go and show you guys how it works right away. Let's go ahead and connect this first, right? Let's go and connect this first. So my laptop actually has the USB-C port on the back. So I'm gonna actually use this one right here to connect it here on the back. Like you see here, that's the USB-C port. I'm gonna connect it right there. I like it because it has a angle already ready for the, for the console to be on my other side right there. So here on this side, what you wanna do is you wanna connect this port, right? You wanna connect it to the USB-C port right here or the USB cable. There you go, so this obviously very simply goes to your HDMI port on your console. Doesn't matter what console, you, uh, this console, Xbox, whatever console. So now let's go ahead over here, right? This is the console. We're gonna go ahead and look for the HDMI port, which is right here, and we're gonna connect it. There you go, so that's how it goes in there. Make sure you actually take the console when you're doing this, because it'll fall off. And there you have it, and that's it. You can just go ahead and close it. We're ready to go, but now what you really need is uh, make sure you go to, to uh, Genki, to the website. I think the website is written somewhere. I'll just leave the website on the screen. That way you have, can know where to actually get the link. So let's go ahead and open this up. Once you install all that, one thing that you want to go is, of course, to the Genki website. Look for Shadowcast, which is this application that we're using or this device that we're using. And you got the options for Mac, Windows, and Chrome. So this will actually work on Mac, Windows, and Chrome devices. There's a lot of Chrome devices out there with, you know, a cheap prices. So that's very cool that they actually have a Chrome application that should work properly. So all you gotta do is hit download whichever version you're gonna get. And just when you finish downloading, uh, the application is very tiny. It's gonna install really fast. And it's going to be right there. It's going to open up. And right now, there's no games. The console is connected, but there's no games whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and hook up this right here. So you guys can see how fast it actually turns on. Look at this. We're there. Okay, the cable. Cable. There you go. I'll hook it up right there. And look at that, how fast it actually connected. Now let's go ahead and... Use the controller over here. I'm just going to show you guys again how fast it did connect. You put it over there. Drop it. And look at that. Very, very fast. Uh, one thing here, of course, you can play like this, right? You can play like that if you want. 
Here we're playing, um, I'm playing, uh, how you call this? Immortal Rising. Uh, right here, I can go in up. That way you can see full screen right there. Look at that. Woohoo! Very awesome. So one thing also you should also be aware is I'm pausing pause it right there. Uh, one thing you should be aware is that right here, this application has an option that lets you put the prioritize either favor performance or favor resolution. That's pretty damn cool because um, you know some games might ha might not have that option like prioritize resolution or prioritize um, you know performance but this application does have it um, honestly I would recommend just to prioritize um, I don't know resolution or performance I don't know whatever you want it doesn't really matter but you do notice the difference you do notice the difference when you put it on resolution and performance you can actually notice the frame rate it's a little bit more better when you put it in performance resolution it actually looks a little bit better um, and of course you got the volume here as well you can up the volume and down on the application and that's it other than that there's nothing more that you do on this application there's nothing more to record you would actually have to download another application from another company it could be I forgot the names of those company but you could download you know other applications from other companies that will let you actually stream or record gameplay um, if you're going to record gameplay, the gameplay is not going to record at very high specs. You know, the, I think it actually says right here, duh, 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 HDMI input. I think it, the max, it records at 4K, but at 30 frames per second, you won't get 60 frames per second. So if you're connecting to one of the next gen consoles, um, up to resolution, 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's the max output resolution that you gonna get when you connect the console there but you can actually connect it 4k and that's it compatible with USB-C mm -hmm. and that's it so of course that's how easy it is the only thing that you need is a laptop that actually has USB-C port not USB-A USB-C port and that's it you could connect any console whatsoever to this device like you see here on the video I actually did connect the Xbox Series S very easily connected to my laptop then i connected it to the console and very easy very simple connection and that's it i started playing some baseball there which i kind of sucks because um, i've been not playing baseball for a couple weeks so yeah and i also connected it to the playstation 5 as well like you see here i connected to the laptop then i connected to the playstation 5 and um, started playing some little bit of assassin's creed there on my laptop and it was flawlessly basically i'm telling you guys you could barely notice any lag whatsoever because there is nothing in between the console and the the console and the laptop screen there's nothing you know nothing in between so it's not like the game capture or gacho because i can actually do that as well play but the lag is a little bit more noticeable here the lag is not going to be noticeable because you're connecting the it's basically connecting a, a HDMI cable to your laptop directly because there's nothing in between. When you use a game capture like Elgato, the, like the device that I use to record video games, you connect this to the game capture and then from the game capture it goes to the laptop or to the computer. So there is a device in between and it's going to create obviously a little bit of more lag than this because this is actually connected directly to your you know to your laptop so yeah guys this is a device that i wanted to share with you guys because i know that a lot of people like to play on the go especially if you're like me that when you go traveling you like to take all your devices i like to take my console sometimes and i also like to take my laptop that's like two devices that i always take right and with this little tiny device you know this little tiny device you can actually hook up any console you know this little tiny device it goes for around 49.99 i 
I'll leave links in my descriptions just in case you're interested in getting this device. And like I said, this company also sells other stuff as well. They also sell like the like a portable dock that's also a substitution to this dock as well that I have one and it's pretty cool. And yes, you can connect this device instead of to this dock. You can connect it to one of those portable docks and connect it to the, to the laptop as well. Yes, you can do that as well. And that's it, guys. That's um, the purpose of this video. Show you guys that you can actually connect any console, any console whatsoever, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 1, any old console, any new console, to any laptop that has a USB-C port. Okay, guys? It could be Chromebook, MacBook, or Windows. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. That way I can answer them and of course links for this product, which is totally worth it, will be there as well. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Yeah, baby.